Now in Hired Killer, I think there's one thing I can mention that Robert Weber wears that will exemplify the difference between 1960s Euro crime movies and 1970s Euro crime movies, and those are sunglasses. Might seem like a small detail, but if you stop and think about it, you rarely see the heroes of 1970s Euro crime movies wearing them. But back in the 1960s, Italian crime films were trying hard to create an atmosphere of cool, trying to create this glossy, jet-setting world of sunglassed criminals. Yeah, the 60s period of the genre featured cool, laid-back criminals, often assassins or crooks pulling big heists and capers. But they were backed up by music that was breezy and brassy, but now their counterparts in the 1970s, they weren't trying to be cool at all. They yelled and screamed all the time. It was intensity over coolness. And that's reflected in their music too which was tough, muscular funk grooves instead of the jazzy sounds that came before. The 70s Euro crime characters, they were fiery, hot-headed, tightly wound cops and mafiosi. <laughs> 